KSL News at Noon starts now. Good afternoon, everybody. Dan Spindle here. It's that time of year, the season of giving, and soon you'll find the giving machines out and about, the big red vending machines used not to buy anything for yourself or to get anything in an instant, but to purchase supplies and services for families in need all over the world. New specialist Darren Cox joins us now live from the Conference Center, downtown Salt Lake City, where global nonprofits met with church leaders. And uh, Aaron, they say these giving machines are making all the difference. Yeah, that's right, Dan. I spoke with one leader who came from Tanzania to speak with church leaders today, and she says the giving machines are making a political, societal, and economic difference for her people. It feels good to give, even if it's just clicking a button. I think in all of our hearts, that's the question. I wonder what type of impact this is going to make. It feels even better when you meet who your supplies go to. Ari Obiero with Church World Service Africa traveled to Salt Lake to share how the chickens purchased on the giving machines has changed their culture. The chicken movement, moving from 270 chicken to 5,000, and the moment we are at 7,000. She hopes next year they'll have 10,000, but the machines have brought them more than chickens. They've brought opportunity specifically for women. They have earned respect from men, from their husbands, their leaders. They have voice. That's just what's happening in Africa. The giving machines will be in 61 cities and seven countries. In 2022, 2.2 million meals were purchased. More than 500,000 children were vaccinated. And nearly seven Olympic-sized pools of purified water were provided. This service is how we heal. And every single one of us in the world has something we need to heal from. Now those giving machines here in Salt Lake and Orem are going to be up starting November 20th and 21st. That is Thanksgiving week, so just a few more weeks before they're up and going. The church is also creating six videos that give an outline of what the impact of these is. They're interviewing people and sharing their stories of where exactly the, these supplies are going. We'll send it back to you, Dan. Oh, yeah, Aaron, a lot of folks plan their Thanksgiving and Christmas giving all around the giving uh, machines and the Light the World campaign so that you can go down there with your families and the kids can get involved. Uh, what a great effort. Aaron, thank you.